Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Stacking Perpetrator here. Today's video, we're going to do another what's in the box. For the new viewers, the box is where my LCS purchases and mail call goes until I have a chance to film it for you. Then I decide if it goes in an album collection, in a box for my permanent stack, or in another box for a future sell trade or upgrade for gold, if the GSR works in my favor. And before we get into the box, I'm sure you're probably... Some of you know what this is, some of you don't. This is a Billy Club, the history behind this. This was actually owned by somebody who worked as security for Chicago Mayor Deli's and Mayor Deli number one, the first Mayor Deli. This was owned by somebody who worked on his security detail. This is original and everything. It is a pretty cool pretty cool little item there uh all right now let's get into the box get this two box get this and like i was saying in the previous videos the box was getting empty okay well you get you get to see the box is empty except for some channel stickers that i have that i put on display every once in a while and uh, so i've got a lot of work to do to get some more stuff in the box so i can show you but in the meantime while i'm working on getting more stuff in the box i have a vast array of other coins and collections that i haven't even thought about videoing yet and plus i'm still working on how i'm going to set up my trust and i will let you know fill you in as i as I start working on that and completing it, some things to look out for, some things, and it's going to vary state by state. Your state will be different, so you will have to consult an attorney in your area that deals with trust. But I will let you know what it's like for me and my process in some upcoming videos. Plus, I'm going to be showing you how, I how I'm going to be cataloging and documenting my collection. But let's look at this coin here. This is from, uh, who is this? The American History Silver Bullion Collection Certificate of Authentic Authenticity Declaration of Independence Doesn't really say who it's who made this thing, but it is a one troy ounce, kind of like a generic round. United States of America, Declaration of Independence, the 1770s. Pretty cool looking coin. I got this at generic prices. It just happened to come with this certificate in this homemade, or well, I guess they make these. You can buy these and do them yourself. I think this was starting to come open. So they put it in this fancy box so they could put a price tag on it and sell it for whatever exorbitant amount of money that somebody originally paid for it. Oh! Uh, independent silver commemorative issued exclusively by the Danbury Mint is a privately commissioned collectible that is guaranteed to be struck using 99.9% 99 .9 pure silver. Diameter 39 millimeters, 1 troy ounce, reeded edges, composition 0.999 fine silver so that is one of the items i will probably because i don't i mean i will probably just crack that out and uh, add it to my variation of generic rounds I think the dance merry mint stuff holds much value and then the final thing i got i showed a stack of these before and my uh lcs had a bunch of these come in these are the one pence uh, this is either 1900 or 1906 you have to get the loop out a couple other channels have yeah 1906 have showed these on their channel before. I wound up getting a whole stack of these for 
I think they charged me, I got them two for a dollar or three for a dollar or something like that. They are copper. Um, varying dates. I went ahead and picked them up just because, like, this is a 1949, one penny. And what do we got? This is a 38. 38 one penny. This will be an older one here. This would be the 18, 1899. So these are just fun little, fun little copper pieces. And there's a 1949. We got here 1947, 1939. Here's a 35. And then, if you notice, there's different portraits, and assuming the Depending on the time. The time period. One of these might be. This is George the. What is that? George the fifth. George the sixth. This is Edward the seventh. Let me zoom in on that. Yeah, this is Edward the seventh. So when was when was this? Nineteen nineteen oh four. And then who is it? Oh, this is Victoria. So that's, she was on the, on the 1899. So I've got one queen and three of the kings for their time periods. 49 to 38. Yeah, but they're just fun little copper pieces. Um, I just thought for the for the price, you know, put them in the. There's one for fishy fish. Got to ring them. Pretty bad ring them. But I thought at the price I couldn't pass them up. I'd buy them. I got another. I went to and picked out some of the better ones in a tube and then these were the leftovers so I got a I think I paid uh, 50 cent each for the first batch that I bought and then they had these left over and I think I got these for three for a dollar picking these up I figured it's a fun little fun little copper piece to put back and, uh, add to the add to the stack in the collection so anyways let me know what you think about the uh, British uh, copper pennies. Let me know what you think about the Dansbury. One of the reasons I liked it was because it was the Constitution, Declaration of Independence, uh, part of our history. What was this? This was the and this was the Declaration of Independence. So. Those are always fun designs on, on silver coins. So, anyways, let me know what you think of these down below. Does anybody remember your uh, granddad or great granddad carrying one of these back in the day? Um, let me know down below, and I will see you on another video.